What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be back to work on our Dodge Ram. As you guys seen in the previous video, we got everything painted out really nice and it turned out awesome. But before we get started on working on this truck, I want to say we do have some new merch in stock at vtune.com. We have this shirt right here and then we also have this shirt right there. So if you guys want to copy one, head over to vtune.com, get you one. Now let's get to work on this Ram. So the first thing we're gonna do on this truck is basically just do some cleanup work because we did do some sanding and there's still a bunch of parts in here. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit of cleanup, clean everything out, get all the parts off, and then we'll start assembling this truck. So we got everything nice and clean inside the truck. Now what we're gonna start off with is putting the driver's side airbag in so we can get the roof panel back in. So while we have the windows out, it's gonna be really easy to slip it in there and then we can start putting the front and the back windows in.
So we got the headliner in, it's all installed. There's a couple more things we have to do, but I wanna actually put in the rear window right now because it is the power sliding and it has the motors that go all back here. So once we're gonna have to put that in, then we can put the seats all in and then all the trim plastics on. So let's go ahead and actually cut off all this old glue right here. because This is the window that actually came out of here. It wasn't busted, so thankfully for that. So let's grab a razor blade and cut all this off. So we got all the glue cut off this window and you gotta be super careful not to cut this molding right here because it's super easy to cut and it's pretty thin. And then we also got all the glue cut off over there. And now what we need to do is actually wipe everything down really good with some of this wax and grease remover right here. Stuff works amazing. Basically we can get off any grease or wax that we've had on there from my hands and other stuff just to get the window nice and sealing up there because we don't want no leaks or anything happening like that because we don't want to redo it. So let's go ahead and wipe this sucker down and get it glued on. So we got the caulk gun all nice and set up and you guys are about to see exactly why I cut the tip like this. Let's go ahead and start putting it on. So we got the glue on there and as you can see, it's kind of like sticking out like a triangle and then once we put the glass on, it's gonna sandwich it together. Oh man, who do this? It's man, good. it's good job, man. Hey, he approves of it, so let's go ahead and grab the glass and put it on. So we got the rear glass glued in. Now what we're gonna do is start assembling all the smaller stuff in the back like the seat belts and then we have this bottom seat belt and then we'll throw the rear seats in and we'll basically be done in the back of this truck. And then we can move on to getting the front windshield uh, glued in because it actually just showed up. So let's go ahead and get all these seat belts in, get everything done in the back and then we'll move on to the front. So we got everything on in the back. We got the seat belts, all the plastic trims. Now it's time to go ahead and get the seats right here. We are gonna do a little bit of cleanup on them because they are a little bit dusty from sitting in the shop. But check them out, nice leather. We got the perforated stuff in the center. I like that a lot. Now let's just wipe them up and slap them in there.
So right now we're actually watering this windshield because it was sitting out in the sun. And if you don't, if you don't cool down the windshield before you touch it, if it's in the sun, it will easily break in half. So we're gonna cool it down and put it on the truck. So we got the front windshield right here and we're basically gonna do the exactly same thing we did on the rear windshield. We need to cut off all the glue on the top. So let's go ahead and cut off all the glue. We'll wipe it all down and we'll get this new windshield in. So we're just putting in the window right now. We actually got a visitor, my good old friend Jerry. We're gonna put all that work in. It'll be next year before we get it together. Ah, it's gonna my be this birthday, year. It's well, gonna, gonna be this year. On January 3rd, right? I'll be 73 years old. I'll give you a ride on your birthday, January 3rd. What <laughs> you gonna do with it when you get it together? I'm gonna drift it, race it. I gotta get him a cold beer, guys. I gotta go work with Charlie, man. I got $2 here. Maybe I have to do it right there. You guys are get you nice I'll bring, bring, bring you something back. You know what? Uh, so we got all the glue on the truck and it's gonna be pretty hard getting this glass up here. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is probably throw a blanket right here on this hood and then pick the glass up, put it up here. And then we'll have to stand on the tires to get this glass on because this truck is so tall. So let's go ahead and do that and get this glass installed. So we got the front windshield in. We went ahead and put all the moldings, everything on. This truck is coming together. Everything inside is looking good. Unfortunately, we do not have the airbag uh, module from uh, Safety Restore. We still haven't got it back. And also the seat belts aren't here, but they should be here pretty soon. Now what we need to do is actually work on the driver's seat. If you guys remember, we did have a blown airbag and we got a new airbag and we also got a new seat cover. So let's go ahead and get that seat and get that thing on there. So we got the seat right here and then we have a used airbag we picked up from the junkyard and then we have our new seat cover right here. So let's go ahead and put it on. It's pretty easy to do. The cool thing about this seat is I like it. It only has three sets of hog ties right here instead of mostly how they have everything all over the place. It's really hard to do, but this one just has Velcro right here. So it's gonna be a pretty simple installation. Let's go ahead and install it.
So we got the entire interior basically all back together. We are only waiting on the seat belts and the module and then we can put that all back together and the interior will be 100%. But right now it's about 95%. We will have to do a lot of detailing because it is pretty dirty. We have a lot of uh, dust and, and dirt everywhere in here, but pretty much everything is done inside. It looks awesome. Can't wait to start driving this thing, especially with the cool uh, navigation system and all of that. We got the windows, all the mirrors back in. So this thing is almost done. Now what we're gonna do is actually start working on the bumpers. We're gonna start sanding the front and the rear bumpers. And we also have the two doors and the fender. So we need to sand all that down, get it all ready for paint. And then we'll probably even throw in the, the bumpers, the front and the rear bumper in the paint booth and I'll paint that because it's a, a smaller parts. And then we'll have to wait on my brother because he's actually on vacation to paint like the big rear panels. And then we can paint the bed and this thing will be complete. So we got both bumpers right here. They're both brand new. We're about to start sanding them. We do have a slight little dent on the front bumper. We're gonna have to fix, I'm guessing just in shipping and handling got a little dented. But what we're gonna start off with is a 320 on an interface pad, just like this. And this is just gonna sand everything up really nice because they are kind of rough and we will be sealing them in the paint booth. So let's get to sanding. So we got both bumpers sanded and we did have to do a little bit of body work on this front one, but it turned out amazing. Now let's go ahead and get these bumpers in the paint booth and get them painted. So we got both bumpers in the paint booth and now all we have to do is basically clean them up we do have some dust on there, so we're gonna wipe them down, air blow them off, and then wipe them with the wax and grease remover, get them all nice and clean. And then we'll go in the paint mixer room, mix up some sealer, and get them sprayed in. So we got these parts nice and clean. Now let's go in the mixer room, mix up some sealer and get these things sprayed in. So we got our sealer mixed up right here. We're about to start spraying it down. And before you guys start yelling at me for not knowing how to paint, I am not a painter. I use just paint a couple parts a year, but we will try to get this done right. They are pretty small. It's just one bumper up here and one down there. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and start spraying. So we got everything nice and sprayed in the booth. We got the bumpers nice and coated with the sealer. Now it's time to go ahead and get the Sickens base coat. This stuff is amazing. So let's go ahead and put some in the cup and then we'll wait for the sealer to dry and give that a spray too.
So now all we have to do is spray some clear coat on it and these bumpers will be done. All right guys, this turned out amazing, man. I do love painting. It's just so relaxing and so much better than doing like framework or something. You just spray some color down on it, but everything turned out really good. We didn't make any runs or anything and the clear coat is just shining so bright. A big shout out to CarQuest for sponsoring the clear coat. So if you ever need anything, head over to CarQuest. And that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got all these bumpers painted, the entire truck assembled. In the next video, we'll be getting the doors painted and the bed and the entire truck will be fully done. And that's gonna be basically Basically it for everything and a little update on the Mustang we are gonna be doing some huge changes to it we did get a new subframe but I can't show you guys much about that but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash the like button smash the subscribe button and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and pick up some merch at vtune.com if you want to support the channel